when we talk about shooters and what we can do and what's coming out, I think a lot of people assume House of the Dead. If you watch this channel for any amount of time, uh, you know that I've seen some leaked, not just, there, there were mock-ups um, of the cabinet, of the House of the Dead cabinet. It was basically just based on what they did with Big Buck Hunter. So I think they're headed in that direction. They're at least testing that out to the point where they actually tried out some of the uh, some of the graphics and and wanted to get a feel for the way that looks. I think House of the Dead is probably a given. House of the Dead doesn't require any kind of weird mechanic. You could get away with the guns, and that's pretty much it. But there's another game that had a little bit of a gimmick, a little bit of a separate mechanic that I think we could see. I think it's possible. Yeah, I'm talking about Time Crisis. Time Crisis was a game that was not just your typical shooter. For a lot of, for, for most part, I think you could say that it was, but they had a different mechanic. They had a little foot pedal. It was a way to, to duck and cover, right? You could take cover by pressing the pedal, and then you could let off, and it was time to go, right? You could take cover, take a break, take a breather, and then go. That was something we never saw with any on-the-rails shooter at the time. With the exception of, the, of being a single-player cab, which we see here, I think that we could definitely make a cabinet. I say we. RK1 could make a cabinet, and they could definitely pull off this same feel. You have your light gun, which we know they've done in two iterations now. You know, we've got we got the, the Big Buck Hunter shotguns. We've got the T2 guns that are full auto, and they have the force feedback. Nice to see. I saw on, uh, uh, Michael B. actually pointed it out on the live stream, is that you can actually disable the force feedback. I can't wait to look into that and see uh, see if that because that could get annoying over overall. But if you're looking at Time Crisis and you're looking at this cab style and you're looking at the components, I mean, when you whittle this down, what are we talking about? What well, we're talking about pretty much a whole bunch of stuff we've seen before, right? If you look at obviously Big Buck Hunter and those guns, uh, it's going to be a little bit different than what we see with T2. But I think overall, if you want to look for a cabinet that's going to overall, I mean, it's going to really mimic the time crisis vibe, right? It's going to give you that look. I think you want to look to the Ridge Racer cabinet on the right. Now I want to highlight the big buck hunter on the left, because I think we're going to get a two player version. I don't think they're going to come out with time crisis and make it a single player experience. I just don't think they're going to do that. I think that they know that there's probably more money in a two player cabinet and I'm going to have to agree with them. You can still play single player, obviously, but to have the ability to play two players, you can't you can't deny that. So I think we're definitely going to see a two player version of this cabinet. So you'll see the two guns on the left, similar holsters, maybe not necessarily the big speaker in the middle. I think it's specific to to Big Buck Hunter, but you're going to have a couple holsters, sort of in the middle for your pistols. And then you look to the right. They, so you got the marquee of the Ridge Racer, which is all Namco. It's all the same family. So they got the overall. The shape is there. Obviously, no steering wheel, obviously no shifter. That's where the guns would go. But if we're talking about mimicking that mechanic of the foot pedal, they already do that. They've done that with uh, OutRun, and now they're doing it here with Ridge Racer. I think you have one panel that folds out with two pedals, one for each player. I think that two, there's not enough. If you look at the riser, there's not a ton of room for two separate panels that would fold out. So I think we're talking about one single panel that folds out, Two pedals mounted on this panel, big gap in the middle, so we're not stepping on each other. And I I think that's how you do it. I think if you look at the cabinet on the right-hand side and just imagine with your mind's eye a couple pistols instead of that steering wheel, I think you got it. I think that's it. I think while House of the Dead may be a, almost a damn reskin of Buck Hunter, not, not taking away from House of the Dead, I'm just saying they could almost get away with that, right? I think the same could be said uh, for Ridge Racer, you're swapping out the control panel. And instead of having, you know, I mean, it already has two pedals on it, but you want to make that wider with two pedals that are the same size. But you're basically looking at, I think on the right hand, you're looking at that time crisis cabinet. And if John D's talking about height, we're going to have more than just one or two of these, uh, of these cabinets of these types of cabinets. So we could very well see house of the dead. I think we could see time crisis for sure. I think they could pull it off. Now, based on theory, based on what I see them doing right now, I think it's possible.